is Yoshi matchup. Noodle will beat out King, which is the Ness. And that put Noodle in such a position that he is today up against Ape It Man. Ape It Man managed to get here by fighting his way, of course, through the MSM bracket. He had to defeat, defeat Soul Hacks, in which he ran into Muffin from Mars, 2 0 Muffin, in which Muffin actually 2 0 Gayo. Back with more Rob. Hmm, I haven't seen this matchup before. You never, you never have I, but looking at like one of the characters that I just feel is very underestimated and most definitely a high tier top tier is We Fit <laughs> because this character is not okay. Let me tell you that for sure. Yeah, definitely think Weef is very strong character. Just kind of strange. So a lot of people just don't put in the time to learn. Yeah. But definitely a great character. I think though, Rom has all the tools to fight Weef. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was just so unlucky. I just blinked so for a second and I just sold the stock. Off. Oh, wait. He's, he's red. That deep breathing is no joke. But, it uh, it's yeah, Rob can fight Reef in neutral, can like camp just as well with his projectiles, and he can edge guard Reef it really well too. Yeah. I think but we fit it, I think one of the we fit when you talk about we fit as a character, right? Well, the minute that you see deep breathing and sun salutation as a buff, that's pretty much the equivalent of like limit cloud without having to worry about fifteen seconds of fame. So the fact that we fit has that on command is Pretty good for me, though. Yeah. But Rob doesn't actually have to, you know, fight Weefit when she has the, or when Weefit has the deep breathing most of the time. He doesn't, yeah. he can just kind of stall it out if he plays his cards right. Yeah, that's kind of one of those things about Rob, right? He doesn't have to engage against the character at all. He kind of just only has to focus about the neutral winner, which is Gyro, and then punish accordingly. And there are two stocks to two stocks. Got stuff on Noodle with forward air from the look like. Yeah, Baby Man's is going for the side B at ledge because so many Wii Fits will just drop ledge, like soccer ball or something. Yeah, and, and the fact that side B is a reflector. Yep. Nope. Didn't give him the role he was looking for. Still can't get to center stage though. Yeah, that's Almost. the biggest spike the needle here. Almost got the gyro snipe. Yeah, especially in deep breathing, that episode on shield is incredibly safe. Here. Man, I don't know. Jordan, please don't um, get in the habit of drinking, please. You know, I don't know if you're taking your medicine or not, but this is not Forward air coming going from Noodle that's able to just change things up for him and Ape It Man. That opportunity, oh yeah, he's gonna go for another forward air. Good pressure, honestly, just to see where Ape It Man is. He's definitely changed around here for Noodle because he's actually winning the zoning war just a little bit here, but. Finally gets some time for control, tries to go for a spike. Good on him too, because that's the way that Rob has to recover. Even though he has a really good recovery, it's pretty slow in the startup. Nice with deep breathing, tried to pressure with back air, but that was really tough. Uh, that was close for Noodle. I respect it. He thought he was actually going to get away from there. He thought he had enough time. Ethan Man with another down smash. Yep. And because of where you let go after going for the recovery, that'll do the stock here. Ethan Man with game one, I believe.
Honorable game two. Smash is too fun to watch without the crowd and pop on the pop pops. There's definitely a crowd aspect that I am missing, for sure. I can definitely comment on that all day, but who knows? Who knows when we'll get back to that? I think for now, Smash can still be fun even at home. It's just definitely a different environment when you're casting, for sure. And also, as as uh, when you watch Grand Finals, it's a little bit different too. Nice on the side special. Double skit too, because the one thing that we fit is gonna do is stall with a ball, and that'll give Ape and Man enough time to actually go off stage and actually go for it, especially after the hits. You only do you have to not worry about the ball. You reflect it as well, and you do damage and knockback and where it puts we fit in a tough spot. That was really that was really good on Ape Man. I, I think that's just matchup knowledge almost as well. Matchup knowledge, but also just knowing the character and what the character can do. Yeah, goes for the high recovery because he doesn't have to worry about the soccer ball at all. I'm pretty sure it's the Yoko ball, but I'm not really sure. So we're there here. Wait for ah, uh, I respect it. That, it was worth going just because once again, the possibilities of Weefer going for that option is really really high. And if you can steal out of stock that way, it'll work in his favor. Nice. Once again, platform. That's the thing about Pokemon Stadium too. Platforms add them to the way to recover. Once again, I respect the gyro just because you know you can reflect. You don't have to worry about much. At this point, Noodle's doing a very excellent job of just trying to hold stage as much as possible because he sees Rob is in the red. And if he can take a stock, and then he'll slowly find his way to climb up. But Ape Man is not giving up. Rob is pretty heavy. He's got ways to come back on the stage. He's got a way to fight against that. It was good on the dash back to catch the roll in. Noodle thought it was safe to come back. Nice. <laughs> I like the fact that he kind of waited to see where Noodle was going to land and then try to see if he was going to roll to go away from Zero or get hit by it and maybe he can come in with a down tilt. That's the stock all the way off the deep end and 8-Bit Man takes it with a 2-0.